Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today we will talk about the cranial nubs. First of all, we will talk about the olfactory nerve. Here we can know that olfactory nerve is the sensory nerve. It is a sensory nerve and it receives the smell sensation here I will be discussing in the return form and then I will discuss it in the drawing drawing form diagram way so first what happens is the olfactory nerve it is present in the uh, nasal area nasal area where there is a presence of uh, as we know that nasal area is divided into superior concha middle concha and inferior concha so it is present near near about the superior uh, superior region of the nasal area and olfactory nerve divides into the two portion here it has a central process and next is peripheral process peripheral process in peripheral process it includes the olfactory hairs olfactory hairs are present in the peripheral process and the central process includes the olfactory nerve fibers olfactory knob fibers these are necessary for the uh, to gain the sensation Sen uh, these olfactory hairs are necessary for uh, uh, what happens is get the it uh, gains the sensation and these olfactory nerve fiber it transmit it into the brain area so it then what happens is olfactory nerve fibers reaches into the olfactory bulb olfactory bulb which is present into the cortex area of the brain and this in the after reaching to the uh, olfactory bulb it synapses it synapses with the mitral cells in the olfactory bulb there is presence of a cell named mitral cells where it synapses with the it mitral cells and form glomeruli here i will discuss it, it in the figure figure also so just it is in the written form here what happens is when any knobs just like um, this is the olfactory knob and it reaches into the olfactory bulb then what happens is synapse with the uh, uh, optic knob which uh, sorry mitral cells synapse with the mitral cells present to the uh, opt, uh, olfactory bulb and then this synapse is called glomeruli this synapse is known as glomeruli it is nothing just a synapse area where the, it forms the glomeruli then the mitral cells form the glomeruli and from mitral cells this olfactory tract altogetherly reaches into the anterior perforated substance of the brain cortex cortex of the brain anterior perforated substance anterior perforated substance of the brain and then here it divides into the two part here it divides into two parts where there is a lateral olfactory stria lateral olfactory stria and another is medial olfactory stria lateral olfactory stria and medial olfactory stria this is the part of the cerebral cortex and then this terminates into the sorry not terminates you can say terminates or reaches the primary olfactory area where the sensation of smell is perceived primary olfactory area this area is present near the amygdaloid body so uh, amygdaloid body uh, so it is called peri amygdaloid area peri amygdaloid area this all primary olfactory area is present near the periamygdalal area where the sensation of smell is perceived and this medial olfactory area reaches the secondary olfactory area and this is present near the entorhinal area which is present in the parahippocampal guidus you can see it entorhinal area which is called which is near the area of entorhinal area of para hippocampal gyrus para hippocampal gyrus 
Now let us discuss in the free uh, drawing way. You can take the screenshot for your easy preference. Now let us uh, discuss in the figure. I have already made it for you. Here you can say this is the nasal area. It arises from the upper part of the nasal area and then it cross it cross the creepy form plate. Creepy form plate. This is the creepy form plate of the ethmoid bone. And then the olfactory nerve reaches into the uh, olfactory bulb as I have already discussed. Here it is the olfactory bulb. Here you can observe the olfactory bulb. And in the olfactory bulb this synapse with the mitral cells and forms the glomeruli and then the it collectively forms as the optic uh, crosses the optic tract and reaches into the cerebral cortex where it forms medial olfactory stria and lateral olfactory stria i have already discussed where it reaches in the primary uh, primary olfactory area primary olfactory area and this medial goes into the secondary olfactory area here you can see this arises from the nasal area and then it crosses this is the creepy form plate creepy form plate of ethmoid bone it crosses here and then the olfactory nerve reaches into the olfactory bulb this is about the olfactory nerve 